Today, we are living in an age of unforeseen changes. COVID-19 has completely changed our way of life, and we have never felt more eager to have a sense of mutual connection. However, a rapid decline in face-to-face -face interactions has placed formidable barriers for international cooperation, posing the idea of deglobalization as something increasingly tangible. It seems that an invisible fear towards the virus has even had the effect of amplifying division within each nation. As people become increasingly preoccupied with day-to-day -day survival, kindness and benevolence for each other seems harder to find. Under these circumstances, Japan, China, and South Korea, the rising centers of the global economy, have been struggling with many regional issues, coexisting with mutual animosity and bitterness. Imagine having the fear of being sneered as a foreigner even if you were born in that country. This sort of exclusionary rhetoric isn't fiction in Northeast Asia. People around you may suddenly scream at you and say, get out and go home. In fact, statistics show that positive feelings between these three countries are at the lowest level ever recorded. However, the greatest value that we create comes from cooperation. While international trade and cooperation is considered to be a contributing factor to the rapid spread of the disease, it is undeniable that this has also been a driver of growth and prosperity. East Asia is not an exception to this rule. There is no room for doubt that Japan, China, and South Korea have taken leading roles in a growing East Asia and will continue to do so. If anything, we're not just talking about economic growth. Take the spreading influence of East Asian pop culture, for instance. K-pop became a global phenomenon and took first place in the Billboard rankings. Japanese animation, Mandopop, and Cantopop are now one of their main exports to other countries. In light of these challenges and developments, the Campus Asia program was established to promote cooperation amongst universities in Japan, China, and South Korea in creating a human resource platform. Starting from one pilot program in 2011, Campus Asia has now expanded to 17 programs with disciplines varying from business MBA programs to medical programs. Amongst these, the Besito Campus Asia program consisting of the University of Tokyo, Peking University, and Seoul National University has taken a leading role. These universities are recognized as a top university within each nation for its history and academic status. It is also interesting that each school in the program offers different academic disciplines. Students can learn public policy at the University of Tokyo, international relations at Peking University, and various international studies at Seoul National Universities. Furthermore, students can gain an exceptional experience in a campus rich in history. Hey Tenu, is it okay if we just ask you a few questions about the program? Okay, so how would you describe your experience from the Campus Asia program? Thanks to the Campus Asia program, I could study in the top level universities in Japan, China, and Korea. Besides international relations, I could also study international organization, business, and languages. Through these classes in different fields, I could realize three countries' position and roles in the international, governmental, and civil society level. Besides class, we go on field trips every semester, and we live in the same dormitory. Through daily interaction and field trips, we are able to have a wide range of discussions. I came to understand diverse points of view towards pertinent global and East Asian issues. Okay, so one last question. How do you think you've changed the most through the program? Due to my background living in China when I was young, I struggled with my identity as a representative of Japan in discussing global issues. However, in the Campus Asia program, we all have various backgrounds and some people have similar experience as me. Through the conversation, I realized I do not have to decide or only have one identity. I could have different identities depending on the situation. Now, my identity is a part of the Campus Asia family. When I talk about the Campus Asia program, I always describe Campus Asia as a family. 
It is because we live, eat, travel, share worthiness and happiness, and always help each other. Friendships made through the program extend beyond graduation. The Besido Campus Asia program places a large emphasis on alumni activities since alumni are encouraged to make real changes through the utilization of their experiences and networks in these three countries. Campus Asia alumni have also held workshops in cooperation with TCS in 2018 and 2019. Not only did we enjoy the reunion, we were also able to discuss how to make an impact in the region together as part of the Campus Asia family. Under these circumstances affected by COVID-19, program alumni also hosted a webinar to discuss the lessons that were learned through this pandemic. Ah, Kunyo san, I'm not doing it. What kind of experience from Campus Asia would you say was valuable to your current job? And Campus Asia was a great chance to try a new field and find out what I actually wanted to focus in terms of subject of study and also a career path. For me, being a Chinese area student major, I was able to try other than my major when I came to grasp. And it let me try out an internship in a bank. And now I'm pursuing a career that I never thought that I would do before Campus Asia. And most importantly, without the support from the people I met during the Campus Asia, I wouldn't have been able to try to find a job in Japan. And more than two years of experience in Korea, Japan, and China, it enhanced our academic knowledge. But the most valuable experience was creating a relationship with people who can share the same identity as Campus Asia. And I believe the companionship and shared experience are not only valuable for the current job, but it will continue to grow as we work in various fields across the world. The network of alumni has seen constant expansion, with each of them using their experiences and working in these three countries. The Basido Campus Asia program will not cease this journey even under this era of uncertainty. In response to the situation with COVID-19, each university has provided full support in order to continue student exchange both online and offline. And as a matter of fact, this video was also made during the pandemic. Regarding the creation of a society that can truly overcome the past and bring forth a brighter future, there still remains a long way to go for Japan, China, and South Korea. The Sido Campus Asia will continue in its pursuit of the creation of the best program for further regional cooperation in East Asia. We invite you to become part of it. Campus Asia. 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 Campus Asia.